It's -a me, Tamu Uyamiko, here to talk about the Intellivision Amico deep dive for the UI. Uh, these are, of course, my opinions, and you by no means have to agree with me. This is just what I think. Uh, first thing is that uh, they combined the UI with the store. So this is something that's not really what you usually see in video games, but um, what it means is that on the UI, when you turn the system on and you look at it, it's going to show you games you own, and it's also going to show you games that you don't own. The games that you don't own will be transparent, and they'll be sitting there like a gap in your collection. It's a little bit uh, exploitive, from my opinion. Uh, the other thing uh, about it is uh, it's really similar to what they have on Amazon sometimes, which is part of the reason Amazon is cheaper and they have so much content is because they will list things on Amazon that you don't own. And unless you go up top and click free to me, you're going to see a bunch of things you don't own. You'll think you might own them. You click on it and then it's going to say, do you want to purchase this for rent it for $1.99, purchase for $10.99? So the problem with this really for me is that it's annoying that you got to see the stuff that you don't like. But beyond that, it's really because it's supposed to be a very child-friendly system. You've got your credit cards left on there, and of course you have to put a password in to buy stuff. But the way little kids are, you leave them alone with this thing, they're going to think they own everything, even the ones that are transparent. And they're just going to start clicking around and trying to force it to work. And eventually, unless there's a password protection, they're just going to be able to buy everything because kids are persistent. Now, of course, there's a protection. There's a password protection, right? So that's kind of like a switch. There's a password protection against buying DLC, against playing mature teen-rated games. There's a password protection. So you're introducing the exact problem that the Wii is supposed to have. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the Switch is supposed to have, which is the password protection, <laughs> not the Wii. Uh, although I think Wii has parental controls, too. I think every system has parental controls. and Apparently, the Amico will also have parental controls as far as putting your, your credit card. So, I think it's a lose-lose. I think this is to try to make old men who are collectors feel like they need to buy all of them. I think it's to trick some kids into wanting them and asking for them. It's like when they put candy bars on the uh, child eye level at the grocery store checkout line when you got to stand there and just sucker them in. So they just stick it there so you got to see it. Completely unnecessary, kind of exploitive, and that's my opinion. In other news, we got one Jolly Christmas song coming out, and we're planning to have it come on the Geek Getaway Christmas podcast on Christmas Day. Uh, I won't be attending, but uh, I'm sending the song out, so you should be able to hear it there. If it's considered too spicy, it will be played on my channel. A short little holiday parody uh, in a good nature. Uh, it is a different song than the Santa and DJ C short song that I did. It's an entirely new Christmas song for you. So check it out.